Hey you, what's new? What's up? What's going on? It's been wild in these parts for a while. Is your life super full right now too? Let's check in. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. Today I'm making time to sit and chat and catch up. So come on, let's talk. First things first. Lots of you are asking and I am overjoyed to report that my hip is feeling amazing. I graduated PT and I'm walking and swimming and relearning how to trust my body and to reset my mind to think of myself as an able-bodied person. After so many years of limitations, I finally feel free and so grateful. It is humbling to remember that just four months ago, four months ago, I couldn't walk. I was totally dependent on crutches, and it is not lost on me the miracle that I've been given. Next, the Austin Area Quilt Guild Quilt Fest show <laughs> is next weekend. The show is at the Palmer Event Center in Austin and runs Friday, September 27th through Sunday, September 29th. It's 10 to 6 Friday and Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday. I'm really excited to see the quilts and the vendors and the handmade boutique and I'm mostly excited to meet any of you who are in the area. I'm hosting a casual meetup, like super casual, Saturday, September 28th from 2 to 3 p.m. in the lobby area of the Palmer Event Center. I can't wait to say hello to you. So drop me a comment below if you plan to come say hi. I'm also working at the show all three days, so if you see me on the floor, don't hesitate to say hello. Okay, what have I been working on here in the studio? Well, let's start there. Oh, this studio revamp, guys. To say it's a work in progress is a huge understatement. It looks like a bomb went off. Schedules have been wacky around here. Both kids started college and there's... Uh, finding a new rhythm has been slow coming. But we're getting there, believe it or not. I am still filming the process and the progress and we'll see how it all comes together. Even in the midst of relative chaos, I am making time to sew. The quilt count. Oh, the quilt count, guys. All right, so far this year, I've completed 20 quilts, completely finished, and about 25 more quilt tops. And that's amazing, especially considering I had major surgery and recovery in the middle. And I think with that and with what I'm still working on, we have the makings of an epic slideshow for the end of the year. But I want to talk about my 100 quilt goal for a minute and do some reflecting and some readjusting. It's funny how ideas morph and grow and take on a life of their own. I thought I needed a big challenge to stay motivated and encouraged, but it turns out that was just what I needed to get me started. You keep me going. And I've since taken on many roles, many roles, with the Austin Area Quilt Guild, and that is challenging me in ways I couldn't foresee last December. And frankly, being physically able is presenting opportunities and challenges I couldn't fathom when I hatched the idea of 100 quilts. We always make the best decision we can with the information we have, and now I have new information, and I get to make all new choices and decisions, and that is exciting me. I'm still making quilts. I mean, of course, I'm still making quilts, but there's been a focus shift, and I no longer care so much about the number. I am really interested in creating content in building this community because connection and community are, well, for me, they're the heart of this art form. Now, I am already thinking about projects and direction for next year. Yes, already, because nerd alert. But it's more of a framework rather than a fixed idea. It's still shaping up, and I'll definitely talk more about that soon. I hope to include a community participation aspect to the idea. But like I say, it's, it's, still, it's still brewing. So what's on the horizon? So many videos coming our way. I feel great and I'm full of ideas that I can't wait to share with you. Donna, Handmade by Ying, and I are shaping up our scrap challenge details this week and I'll be working on that 
I think sort of for the rest of the year. You guys saw all those scraps, right? It's going to take a minute. I'll link our last challenge below. Thank you so much for all the awesome feedback on the tissue cover tutorial. My little cows. That was so much fun and I think I've finally come to a system that makes shooting tutorials easier and more efficient. So there will be more. I'm editing more super cuts, you know, collecting the like information into one long video that you can just play for company or background noise in your sewing room. And I'll definitely have a quilt fest highlights reel after the show. I love this time of year. The weather here in Texas doesn't break. And there's no crisp morning air to set the tone for fall. Heck, our leaves don't even change colors, guys. Unless you drive east for a while. But the light changes. And I still feel invigorated. That's what's going on here. Gratitude and growth. Quilt shows and meetups. Reflection and redirection. Excitement and exploration. Please, please let me know in the comments what you are getting up to as the seasons change. And please never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. If you want to giggle, check out the last challenge with Donna right here. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.